This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. Stop word removal is the process of removing commonly used words from a list before or after processing text. Find the remove and remove stop words from a list of random words. Okay, so our stop words list. Interesting. So we're using file reader, this class, uh, to read our stop words or the words we want to kill off, I guess. Um, here and so we're reading that into an array list using our file reader and then we're going to create uh, we instantiate a my text object from our text processor and we pass it oh the random words so text processor then once we do that text processor we pass it the file name that gets set here but then we use file reader to also create an array list of those random words okay uh, and then they want us write the method stop words to find and remove all occurrences of each stop word and word list from the li okay so let's go down here and interesting remove stop words so I know I need to get through the entire array however I don't know how to find a specific value yet so what could we do in order to figure out if something is equal to something else, we should be going to our documents and see array list, add, get, remove, size. Hmm. Well, maybe then we already know or have at our disposable what we could use. So for starters, if I need to go through every stop word, you can use an enhanced loop or a regular loop, totally up to you. I might just stick with regular loops for both of these, but there's not going to be a wrong answer. So for, uh, I'm going to say stop index to be really clear is equal to zero. Stop index is going to be less than uh, stop words dot size because it's an enhanced list or it's a array list. And then stop index plus plus. Okay. And now what I'll do is I need to know what that current word is for this. So I'm going to say, uh, uh, string uh, remove and then I'll set this equal to stop words dot get stop index so whatever word is at that index I now have it and now what am I going to need to do oh this is going to be inefficient but I need to loop through my words from random list and figure out if that one exists so I'm going to do another for loop and I'm going to kind of cheat here and grab what I already have control c Control V, boom, boom, boom. And now I'll just do instead of stop index, I'll do, uh, I'm just going to use I for this one because this is going to be the one I'm using more. And then this is not going to be the size of that. It's going to be the size of text list. Okay. And now I want to loop through all of these words. And then if I locate one of the words, I'm going to need to remove it. So if uh, text dot list uh, and maybe I'll even do just for clarity string current so current word is going to be equal to text list dot get and then I'm going to do I okay and then text list since I have the current word now cur dot now how do we compare strings in Java documentation let's go look We could use compare to string values and returns an int or equals and what does equals and it returns a boolean so that sounds like the right choice so i'm going to do our current word let's compare it to our remove word or i could just call this uh, stop i'll call it stop word that makes more sense so let me do stop word dot equals uh, cur. So if stop word is equal to our current word, we need to kill that off. So now I would do text list dot remove and I need to use the index, which is going to be I. So what it, now that we know the word at that index needs to go, I'm going to use text list dot remove I. Now what we just saw is we also need to decrement I. So uh, minus minus I or I minus minus doesn't totally matter. It's going to accomplish the same thing. And the reason we have to do this, guys, is as we saw last section, is each time we remove a word, 
Well, let me actually read this first, and then we're going to dive into that. So this is looking pretty good to me, though. It looks like it will do what we need. Um, let's test. So now I need to call this. And I'm going to pass it stop words. And then I'm going to want to print out my uh, list. And I'll probably just do it lazily. Well, it wants me to print the whole object. So yes, let's see if I broke something. I did. Ah, stop word, not stop. So that's looking good. Now, let's talk about this. The reason you have to decrement right here, guys, is because if you find a word, right, say we have this, uh, you know, to hello and Fred. And what we do is we loop through this we find that uh, two happens to be in our stop word list and we kill it. We say goodbye to you. Well, what index would I be on in this circumstance? It would be I would be equal to zero here. However, we just killed off index zero. So now if we would be at index zero, I'd hit the bottom of my loop, go back up around and it says, okay, I was just at index zero. I plus plus is at index one now and we go back through. However, index one would be Fred. And we might actually have to remove hello, but we would never consider it, which is why you have to subtract once you remove a word. And you have to do it only in your if statement. If I did it beneath this, we would have an endless loop because we're not actually going to end up removing all the words. So we would leave I equal to zero and the length of our or the size of text list would never be equal to zero. So it's going to keep looping. And there's a few different ways to go about this. I've also seen students use an enhanced loop up here, which is fine. And it works great as well. The best thing about code, like always, is however you want to do it, there's more than one way to be correct. Regardless, boom, onward.